Hey, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you step by step how to change the navigation part of your Android device, how to change the virtual button on your Android device without using a computer, without having root assets on your Android device, without a without using any custom driver like TTAB, URB, or anything like that. Easy and simple. So let's get started. But before we get started, I want to ask you if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and give the notification to get notified about new video. And let's get started. So as I just said, I'm gonna be showing you how to change the navigation part of your Android device. This is stuff I'm gonna be showing you how to change device without using a computer, without having root access on your Android device, without having any custom recover like TTAB, URB, or anything like that. Let's get started. First of all, I'm gonna be showing you that I don't have root access on my Android device. To do that, I'm gonna be using this application called the Root Shaker. I'm gonna be uh, using this one over here. The link will be available on the description of this video. This is the root shortcut, the AB that uses to verify root assets on your Android device. Just to click right over here on verify root and by doing that the application will start verifying and it's going to tell you if your phone have root assets or not. Sorry, root assets is not properly installed on this device. My device it doesn't have root assets. So what you're going to do, you are going to download the application that we are going to be using to uh, change this stuff, to change the navigation part on your Android device. The link will be available on the description of this video. The link of this awesome application, the link will be available on the description. This wonderful application will be available on the description of this video, navigation bar. I'll give the link in the description of this video. Just to download the application, don't need to worry about it. The application, it doesn't have a virus. It is 100% safe. Then load from the description of this video, install on your Android device and open the application. It's going to be just like this. First of all, it's going to be asking you to activate the navigation part in the setting of your Android device. Click right over here on go to setting to activate the navigation part. By doing that, it will open this window. What you're going to do, you're going to find the navigation part right over here. Just click on it and turn on. By clicking right over here on this icon in the corner, click on it. Click it OK if he asks you, it's going to be asking you if you really want to do that. Just go ahead, click it OK. By doing that, the application will start, will open and your navigation bar will change automatically. If you want to change the color of the navigation bar of your Android device, just click right over here and pick around the color. You can change and put any color you want to apply on it, as you can see. And click right over here on select to mark. Okay, if you want to increase the height of the navigation bar, you can increase by clicking here, move down or up. Asian. Okay, you can add an action to the back button by long press on the back button. It will a uh, Take an action you want to apply on it. I want I want to launch this one over here to the market. When you press and hold the back button like this, it will open the uh, application that you select. As you can see, very cool. Home button, you can do the same process. You can launch, for example, if you press if you press and hold the on. Home button, it will launch a camera. You can mark it by clicking that over here in this option. Launch a camera by doing that. Just press and hold. Just press and hold the home button, and it will be launched a camera. As you can see, pretty cool, pretty simple. You can do the same process on the recent button. Long press on it, and it will be launched an actual power menu. By, by pressing and holding on the recent button, it will launch there a power menu. As you can see, if you want to restart your device, you can restart. If you want to power off, you can do that. Very easy, very simple. And here on theme, you are going to be able to switch to the... Okay, here on theme, you are going to customize the home button. You are going to customize the navigation bar that you want to apply to your device. Just to click right over and make this option on custom right over here in the corner. Click on it by doing that, you will be able to customize as you can see. 
pretty cool, pretty simple. If you want to unlock more theme on this application, just click right over here on unlock theme and you will be watching an advertisement and it will be unlocked this tree, this uh, 2080 theme, it will be unlocked easily. I'm not going to be doing that because I don't have internet connection right now. But if you want, you can do that. It really work. I did. I used this application for a while. It's gonna be working. Okay, so this application is working on any Android device or any Android version. So it doesn't matter the phone you use or the version. The link will be available in the description of this video. Everything is working perfectly as you can see. Okay. If you want to change uh, the color of the navigation prior, you can click right over here on setting in the first option and you can change and you can apply the color that you want pretty cool pretty simple it's working perfectly as you can see working perfectly i'm gonna leave it with the black one it's pretty cool okay a swap to the same button pretty cool pretty simple Okay, so that's it for me as a friend. Help this video, help you out of this video, help you out. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet. And leave the notification to get notified about new video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.